the world today is going gaga over intermittent fasting it's a time tested eating habit and so on many centuries ago when these lifestyle practices were adopted in india our elders knew the benefits of such practices they knew how these practices related to fasting would help people stay healthy to me right eating is all about the attitude with which one eats statitude bhava as they say are you mindful of the process of eating is the question here are some suggestions for you to try out try to follow them for a few weeks and let me know how it goes firstly before you eat please close your eyes and with a lot of love in silence thank god for the food you have in front of you since it is almost impossible to be thankful to all those who made that food available to you so many people in the world are hungry if you are among the lucky ones to have good food it's appropriate that we express gratitude to almighty in our ashrams visitors from africa they tell me that they are lucky if they have one good meal a week the fights in the family are over who gets to eat today can you imagine how painful it must be for a father and mother secondly try and eat with the rest of your family avoid phones or television during food when you eat be mindful of the food in front of you and pay attention to what others may need at the table try to carry the feelings of gratitude with you while you eat and finally after you finish eating with a heart full of love silently thank all the people who made it happen so you have food on the table mother earth the farmer the cook the waiter your wife or your mom and anyone else who comes to mind at that moment do these steps the world today is going gaga over intermittent fasting it's a time tested eating habit and so on many centuries ago when these lifestyle practices were adopted in india our elders knew the benefits of such practices they knew how these practices related to fasting would help people stay healthy to ensure that people adopted these good habits they were made a part of religious rituals over time the knowledge of why we fast or eat vegetarian why we put oil in the nose light up camphor etc was lost but the rituals continued the fear of god kept people following something that was in effect beneficial for all the health so today whenever youth questions some of these traditions our elders don't have answers that appeal to the youth hearts as a result there is conflict it is good to ask questions but it's better to find an answer before rejecting things altogether so my suggestion is if you want a healthy body and overall good health being vegetarian is advisable let me ask you this what is a shared habit between all these athletes you know about novak djokovic serena williams tom brady colin kaepernick louis hamilton and the great virat kohli they have several things in common number 1 they are all at the top of their games number 2 they are immensely successful number 3 all of them are vegetarian if not vegan 
All of them shifted to a plant-based diet and achieved better results in their sports.